Hello there. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. A continuation of our boy Cal and her favorite romantic love story of him and his goth Gia. We open up Jedi Survivor with Cal getting taken in by the Ops to the lower levels of Coruscant levels. These cutscenes really look beautiful and they honestly really set up the story. The only issue is that they're so long. It's awesome to be able to see the Jedi Temple the way that it was and honestly experience the lower levels of Coruscant. Essentially in the intro you're just going through this little walkable cutscene. I tried to test it out as much as I could, didn't really do much. but. I'm disappointed that they didn't give this to the Xbox One and left it as a next-gen exclusive, especially with how buggy it is. Of course PC's got it the worst right now. Tried upgrading my computer, it worked, but honestly it wasn't even worth it when I could have just bought a used Series S, which is essentially what I ended up doing anyways. So if you need a low-priced way to play this game, definitely pick up a Series S. Everything in this game just feels like Jedi Fallen Order, but much more refined and polished and really just taken to the next level. They did an amazing job setting it up. Unfortunately, they're dealing with not the best gamer in the world. <laughs> Jedi Fallen Order already had a very good system with the whole Dark Souls thing going on, but this just takes it to the next level and really refines everything and makes it feel so good. Like, honestly, if I... The gore, oh, the dismemberment, it's so good. I feel the map design, the exploration is very well put together, especially seeing the lower levels of Coruscant. I'm low-key surprised I didn't run into like Darth Vader or something, but it is what, what it is. I really enjoy the fact that they give you the double-bladed stance and the single-bladed stance right off the get-go. It really, really pulls together very well. The only issue that I have with it is that you don't have any moves that particularly go from one to the other. Not to mention the cutscenes are beautiful. I feel the story so far is really putting itself together very well and setting itself up and really just feels like a Jedi Survivor story. If you're enjoying this video so far, definitely use your lightsaber and dismember that subscribe button. We definitely would appreciate having you around. You also get your first boss relatively quickly, with it definitely kind of jump scaring you out This ends up introducing you to the buddy mechanic with Cal and his different allies to take out different opponents. And the story's motive. I feel like the slow time mechanic they had in Jedi Fallen Order has definitely been refined and brought over really well. I love how it's like a real slow-mo and you definitely get to take advantage of it against big groups of enemies. They didn't really have that before, it was just kind of like a one and done. The force pull and push abilities are extremely fun and I love how you get them right off the get-go to utilize. It really feels like you get a lot of the abilities that you had in the beginning that you work towards in Fallen Jedi Fallen Order, and it really feels like it builds off very well. And I think I've said that a few times, but it just does such a great job, and it feels like you're picking up right where you left off. They also brought back the wall run mechanics, making you feel like Indiana Jones grappling across. It's so much fun. It's like Just Cause 3 or Black Ops 3 playing around with it. But eventually, you meet back up with the group. And you guys meet up with the senator that tried to kill Cal, and it really introduces this very cool force mechanic that kind of reminds me of Telltale Games. Like, choose which one it is. Very entertaining. BD-8 will remember that. But after his capture, it eventually leads to... Well, honestly, I was not expecting this whatsoever, but guess who? You know, the person that we thought died in the last game, but no. Ninth sister returns and she is salty. This goes back to the cutscenes and how beautiful they are, but also the characters were so good off the get go. And it's awesome seeing the Coruscant gunships right off the get go as well. I don't want to spoil the story too much, but it definitely picks up and it's just. 
Ooh, very good. Hell, come back. Hell, where you going? But we're gonna save that for later. Honestly, it was great to see old enemies coming back, like the stormtroopers, the scout troopers, the the birds troopers and everything else. The dismemberment looks so cool in this game. I went around the meat locker and just hack, slap, beat my meat. What? I also found out here, if you're versing the purge trooper, you can actually run away and then crawl through the vent. And then when you come back, he just won't even be paying attention to you. You can sneak up and just stab him in the back if you're having trouble with that fight. He did nick me in the bum a little bit, but it was definitely funny. Carl, it's me. I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my ass. Oh my god, bro. Oh, I really enjoy the group combat, how it's like. You're not just 1v1ing and you can really effectively verse against a big group of enemies and how they have a variety of them just really fits well together so far. Mainly just stormtroopers right now, but I know that's because it's the first world and on Coruscant. Overall, this definitely just feels like a great Star Wars game so far and I can't wait to continue going through it. Not to mention Cal, like third sisters, this purge trooper here to bring down the gunship. Definitely a dark side ability, but you know, it's chill because it's Cal, obviously. But then near the end of the whole Coruscant thing, we get towards the Ninth Sister battle, and it does a really good job. It's a lot like this whole setup reminded me of the whole Fallen Order intro, but this fight does do a very good job. Um, continuing on with like the whole Fallen Order thing, but it does a good job utilizing and implementing new different techniques that you have to follow. And then it introduces the double-bladed stance, and the different stances in this game are so sweet. The pistol stance, the double-bladed, the in-between, like it's honestly, it's such a cool implement. This is where the fun begins. But I feel overall this battle and this fight just really pulled this whole like world and everything together and didn't it feel like Coruscant was just like a walkthrough. Not to mention our boy Cal just totally goes off on the guilt trip against her. I'm really enjoying the double bladed stance so far because it has that move from Fallen Order where you can throw the lightsaber all around you. But having the teammate around is just such a useful like concept that I didn't even think about before. Not to mention in the end cutscene you get to see the return of the Z95 Headhunter. The absolute goat. Honestly, who else had this as a Lego set? This set was a complete bomb.com. It was just fantastic to see such a classic ship coming back and used by these guys. And the cutscenes are just movie-like. They are so good. They're long, but they're very good. But let's get into the whole customization end of things, starting with BD-8. Right off the get-go you have access to different colors and this time you can actually customize kind of what he looks like as well with different like photo optics and then the lightsaber customization is amazing in this game. I love having Anakin and Obi-Wan saber, it's just what I wanted in the first one. But the ninth sister ends up getting do good. So yeah, big oof. Kind of brought her back just to kill her but I think it was worth it. But let me know what you guys think so far about Jedi Survivor. I'm really curious to see what everybody's okay. reviews are and what they're thinking about the game itself because honestly, I'm really enjoying it and I can't wait to see where it goes. Well, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and definitely check out this other video. It's going to be our latest content and I guarantee you're going to enjoy it. See you later, guys. Bumpkin Inc. out.